I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Do your own research. Consult a professional investment advisor before making any investment decisions. This show is for entertainment only. Faites vos propres recherches. Here we are. In another episode. Of the Simple Success Podcast. And this is Financial Life Coaching from a Happiness Perspective. We can't always be looking backward, can we? Nor shall we. Nor is that the point, my liege. That's not Shakespeare. Even I know that. Well, that's true, it's not. Okay, so let's talk about success. When it comes to investing, you'll know more or less. An investment is risk that one must take. A reward for the brave, but is too much at stake? Patience and diligence are needed to win. And without them, a happy ending you cannot spin. Diversify your portfolio and spread the risk. Do your research and always pick the best. Don't be too greedy or take a hit. Like it, yes, but only a little bit. Understand the basics of market and trade. Keep your cool, never be afraid. And don't get caught up in what's in today. It's often a loss for the one that does play. Hey, John. Yeah, DT? In order to be successful, shouldn't we set goals? We should. Why do you ask? Because I want a plan which strengthens my soul. Oh, okay, I can see that. Well, I mean, no gains come from acting hastily, you know. Open your mind. Beyond that, I swear, I will do my due diligence on the industry trends. And take the time to understand where the market stands? Of course. Just like taking the time to play the right note. Which we've discussed before, including last week. Correct. Wasn't there something else? Yes, I beseech your grace. I am not well breathed. Boo, Shakespeare. Hey, John. Again, yeah? Since we're talking about what success means. Yes. I think we should make sure that everyone understands our mindset. Well, that's certainly a good idea. Which is that we have to have one thing. And that thing is? That thing is more money than we need to have. Why is that? Or rather, what do you mean? Well, you used to tell people that they needed more money than they were planning on, right? I did, but that was with respect to how long they thought they would live. And that's not our subject today. Oh, you mean like an actuarial table, huh? Lifespan is not the subject today, you're right. But success is. Okay. So, so success means having more money than you absolutely need, right? Yes, and? And peace of mind means having it come from a bunch of different places. Yes, it does. But importantly, how does this tie into investing? Oh, I see what you did there. Me? You did it. I just played along. But I learned something. That's good. Agreed, Fiona. Learning is good. And I learn best with more questions. Such as? Yeah, don't stocks and bonds come with their own sets of rules? They do, and portfolios must be managed like well-oiled tools. Oh, of course that's what I do. And I pay attention to the small things they reveal. Since getting ahead is the whole appeal? Know when to hold and when to sell. Because bumps in the road can happen as well. Success and investing Go hand in hand. That's true. And at the end of the day, it all depends on the plan. It does? It does. Oh, and here, I thought it just depended on... Break number one. Hello, everyone. This is John with the Simple Success Podcast. Financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Because we know you want to show us some serious love in return for the tremendous benefits you get from us, please subscribe to us in your favorite podcast player. You can find us on both the App Store and the Play Store because our message is for everyone. Leave a rating for us, or even better, tell a friend. Whichever you choose, thank you so much for helping us do this for you. To leave us a written message, which just might lead to more in a future podcast, go to those same written show notes to find our subreddits. There is also our Facebook group page, Twitter, and other ways which we'll tell you about from time to time. You can also find an Easter egg 
every so often. So listen closely. Thank you again and keep those constructive ideas coming. We're starting with a quote. Oh, okay. All right. What is it? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. The future of the computer is pure simplicity. Douglas Adams. Oh, so you're not talking about Douglas Abrams this time. Douglas Adams. And by the way, I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? I'm doing great, DT. It's been a while since we caught up. So much has happened since then. Yeah, it has been too long. I'm so glad, though, we had a chance to take that break and come back refreshed and ready for anything. Absolutely. You know, I feel like I have a new outlook on life now, and I'm ready to take on the world. That's great. So what have you been up to lately? Well, I've been focusing on my career and business goals. How about you? Methods for success, like we're all about today? Methods, yes, and meaning, as in the meaning of success. Meaning the feelings that we get. Yes, that feeling of success, absolutely. I'm also staying healthy by going for long walks and doing yoga every day. Which has to feel successful. It does. And of course, I'm still working on my hobbies and staying creative. With more perspective on things like aglets and telomeres, right? Yes, and we'll explore those in their own show someday. But for now, we focus on what's in today, right? Not right exactly, but what is, come see. And in my voice, most welcome shall you be. As you like it. Got it. So we're not focusing on what's in then. No, we're focusing on what feels good and what makes us feel successful. Oh, and gives us the confidence we need. Yes, by letting us lose ourselves in the emotions and the passions. Which might come from a rewarding career that you are passionate about. Yeah, or meaningful relationships with family and friends. What about achieving financial freedom? Well, that could count, but that's been defined in numerous ways. If you mean the not worrying way, then absolutely. And don't forget the MSI method. The multiple streams of income method? Yes, also known as the multiple sources of income method. Which is really great in this case, because success and peace of mind can come from not worrying about an income source regardless of your goals. So it's more than just generating a steady stream of income from passive investments, right? Yes, that's part of it, but it's more than that. Make no mistake, though, having a passive steady stream is very, very much included. Really? MSI? And let's not forget that success is not just financial. It can also include experiencing personal growth, and development in all areas of life, including leading an active, healthy lifestyle. Which I do, of course. Yes, as we have already outlined and discussed. So it's a general attitude that can have many different aspects. Like just having a positive attitude and outlook on life. That, or even more specific things, like making time for activities that bring joy or are contributing positively to the world in some way, such as by volunteering or philanthropy. But generally speaking, you simply need to have the attitude of learning things which are hard. By breaking them down, by breaking them into little bits or steps, making them easy. Making hard things easy. And by doing so, you'll be overcoming difficult obstacles and achieving goals you have set out to accomplish. That's right. So be kind to yourself. Know that it will take time and that you simply need to increment. Starting small and adding a little bit on a regular basis until you're doing what once seemed hard. So your perspective has changed. Yes, it has. And now you're looking back through, we'll say, the wrong end of a telescope to see how far back you were when you first started. You are amazingly wise, my liege. Well, thank you, but that's something I've become only over time, my dear DT. I mean, success is much more than just money or possessions. Although they do come in handy. Yeah, sure they do. But having a sense of purpose and meaningful connections with those around you usually works out better. Well, 
It does mean being able to grow and learn. Yeah, it does. And it gives you the confidence you need to take risks in order to reach your goals. So to simplify, which is, of course, what we most like to do here, success also extends beyond yourself, which most people are slow to realize. Nonetheless, you can support others in achieving their aspirations as well. Which, oddly enough, makes you feel better about your own successes. Balance. Good point. We do need to maintain balance between all these aspects, don't we? Yes, knowing that we'll ultimately achieve in our own unique ways. Ways that make us each happy. That's right, DT. So this is kind of weird. What is, DT? Well, it feels like we're being both type A and type B at the same time. How do you mean? Type A, we're being successful and goal-driven. And type B, we're being passively kind to ourselves. Oh, that's interesting. Well, trust me, we are being kind, but that's not being passive. We are actively kind. It's not? Absolutely not. We're being actively kind. We are actively going after what we want. We're just doing it like an educated person would do it. Oh, yeah. Is this the educated person idea from Think and Grow Rich? Yes, it's a very much a part of that. It's Henry Ford's definition. Which is what? An educated man is someone who can get what he wants without violating the rights of others. Ooh, that sounds successful. And as long as we don't forget that success is ultimately a highly personal experience, we'll be just fine. It's a fun experience. True that, DT. And fun is not often the case on long and challenging journeys, but this one is incredibly rewarding. It's definitely something I would talk about over and over again. Even if you needed help? Especially if I needed help. I mean, what better way to recruit help than by being specific about the help you need? Is that a question you want me to answer right now? You can if you want. But first, break number two. We know a lot about you already because we know ourselves. For example, we know that you know how to listen to our podcast. We also know that you probably know how to subscribe. So as soon as you're done with that, tell us your story. We have ways you can contact us. It involves a special link where you can leave us a message. We may have an email address for you as well in the future, and we'll let you know if that happens. The reason for subscribing? I thought you'd never ask. When you subscribe, you automatically download all future episodes of that podcast. It just happens in your player without you having to go search again. How cool is that? This means better rankings for the podcast, more attention from advertisers, and more money. And this means more and better stuff for you. So your motivation is simple and easy. Subscribe today, whatever app and from whatever place you like. And don't just try to subscribe. There is no try. There is only do. We're changing the way we look at things. And remember, that's good. Eso es bueno, Sibyl. Also remember, this is financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Coaching happiness. Our call to action is right in the show notes. Find it and you win too. From deep in the heart of sound world comes a solution so simple that no one can believe it. And I sure don't believe it. Why not, John? Because I am not a, how you say, a rube. A fool. A fool I met in the forest, a motley fool. Actually, a motley fool is a pretty wise person, DT. As you like it. Okay, you're right. So, DT, what do you think success means? Success is how you define it, my liege. Oh, interesting. It's specific to each one of us. Okay, go on. Well, if you define it as having a huge return on investment, then that will get you one result. However... Oh, I see. But if you define it as enjoying yourself, for example, that will get you a different result. I couldn't have said it better if I tried. Well, the really good thing is that you didn't try then. You know what I mean. I do. And, well, to me, success is more than just achieving a goal, as you know. Indeed, it is the sum of many small efforts. Repeated day in and day out. Tous les jours, every day. So success in the stock market, or in any individual stock, however you acquire it, is a very long-term thing. Amazingly long-term. For example, when I was a licensed financial advisor, 
many people would tell me that they thought of long-term investing as a period of about six months. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, I'm not, I'm not laughing. I'm listening. Well, by contrast, hey, DT? Yes, John? Have you ever heard of PayPal? Of course I have. Who hasn't? Good point. Not too many people have never heard of it. But amazingly, few people have the correct historical perspective on it. You mean whether they use it or not? Right. So what is the correct historical perspective, at least as far as this story is concerned? Right. Here it is. It's 2023, at least when we're recording this. 2024, if you're hearing it the first time, maybe later. Yes, and... PayPal started in 1998. Ooh, that means, right, it's 25 or 26 years old now. And you're going to ask me if I think that's long-term, right? The thought crossed my mind. What do you think about it? He asked. I admit that I think that's a bit of time. But it's a damn fine proof of concept, don't you think? It is, especially considering that story... You were watching on Google Earth. In which a number of industry executives were shown to be disbelieving of things that might happen in the future, and actually did. On the same order as that famous old Kodak problem. Yeah, but in this case, we're talking about airline executives who couldn't imagine little screens on the back of airline seats like we've come to consider very normal. In the same way that we'll all think AI things are normal before we know it. Yeah, you're right there. It's about the process and the journey to get there. And it's about patience and what? Persistence and... And repetition. P-P-R. You have to stay consistent in order to reach your goals. And take this away. The key is to stay motivated and keep pushing forward. Which is how you've all gotten good. Gracias por escuchar. Salut. A la prochaine. This podcast and our other podcast are productions of Little Red Hen Industries. The supporting cast who helps me bake the bread includes Techno King, John C. Brandy, Alter Ego, Doubting Commerce, Fact Checker, A Small Brown Beef Animal, Seriously, Tiny. Facts are important but are also easy. Social Manager, Abraham Lincoln, Media Expert, Augustus Caesar. Psychologist, William James, Sound Designer, Adobe's Creative Suite, Spanish Consultant, Cameron J.K. Brandy, French Consultant, Leah, The Do Your Own Research Lady, Videographer, Eto Moon Koshki, Audio Props, Les Paul, Inspiration, Many Podcasts and Other Sources and of course Napoleon Hill. We also have websites and you can subscribe to both podcasts. You can even send us a video, audio or text message. But of course, you'll have to head to the show notes either on your phone or on the web, to get the links and stuff. All the clickable links are in the show notes. And before we forget, the artificial intelligence or AI voices you hear in our work come from Google, Amazon Polly, and OpenAI like we say in the show notes. We just love what AI can do when lovingly crafted. Finally, you can find us on ProtMatch.com, Matchmaker.fm. Podbooker and podcast guests where we consider guests and consider guesting on other people's shows. And really finally, the music for our pods comes from Cute by Ben Sound and from Piano Background by Nick Simon Adams, as well as from AI MuseNet. The sound effect credits go to Jackson Academy Ashmore, Kanusi G, Dr. Jekyll, Joe Payne, Everything Sounds, MK Play More Stories, ERH, Sand Emotions, Big Pickle 51, and Just Kidding. Yes, that's his or her name. All on freesound.org. Also, languages are the bomb. Paul.